Hey what's up guys, in one of the previous videos I showed you how to change the idle animations based on what weapon you have currently equipped and a lot of you requested to extend this system to also include movements and that's what we are gonna be doing today. So I have these animations here for great sword and spear but you can have as many different weapons types as you want. And just like last time I don't really have an equipment system. So instead we are gonna go into the content dropper, right click, go into blueprints and we are gonna create an enumeration and I'm gonna call it enum weapons. And we can open this and like last time we can add enumerators and these are just gonna be different weapon types so i'm gonna rename the one nano the second one i'm gonna rename to spear and the last one is gonna be great sword then we can save this and you can add as many different types as you want of course then we're gonna go into our player character so for me that's third person character in here i want to create a new variable and i'm gonna call this equipped weapon and i'm gonna change the type to that enum we just created and then when we compile this, you can see that we can just set it to whatever. Then I have these keybind events, so I'm just gonna drag in my equipped weapon and set it. Plug that into one of those events, and then I'm just gonna duplicate it quickly. And you don't have to follow along with this. I'm just doing this so I can show you that we are actually swapping stances. So I'm just gonna change it to spear and greatsword on the second and third event. And then I'm just gonna be changing the static mesh of the equipped weapons, just so that we can see what weapon we have currently equipped. Again, you don't have to follow this. You can compile and save this and we can close our player character but before we do that we need to go into our animation blueprint and the shortcut for this is i'm just gonna select the mesh and then under animation we can just browse to asset and this will get us to the animation blueprint now if you are using the quinn model you still need to edit money animation blueprint because quinn is a child of animation blueprint of many and once you are in the animation blueprint you should be in the event graph if you are not you can open it under the graphs on the left side here then you are gonna locate the event blueprint update animation and then then you should have this sequence here so we are just gonna add a pin to it drag from it and we are gonna cast it to our player character so again for me that's third person character then we are gonna drag from object search for get player character then we are gonna drag from the third person character and search for that variable we just created we are gonna get it we are gonna drag from it and we are gonna promote this to variable you can change the name if you want to i'm just gonna leave it as is and basically what this does is every time animation updates we are gonna cast it to our player character we are gonna get the variable and based on that we are gonna play different animation now i'll be the first one to say this this is not a great way to go about this ideally if you have an equipment system you want to include this in the kind of function of equipping items to update this variable instead that way you don't have to cast it all the time once you have that we can actually go change the animation so we can go into the anim graph so under animation graph so you can click on this arrow and that will open the anim graph and we want to go into the locomotion in here we have two states by default yours might look differently if you added some more movements i'm gonna go first into the idle and like the last time we're just gonna disconnect this then we are gonna drag in our equipped weapon variable get it drag from it and then we are gonna search for blind poses the issue is here it's gonna find all of these other planned poses based on the different enums that you have in your project so i'm just gonna search for enum weapons then you should have the blend poses and on weapons or whatever you call your enumeration. And we can drag the result into the result, the default pose into the MM idle. Then we're gonna right click the node and all the way down here we have those pins for elements based on the enumeration. So I can add the nun, great sword and spear. And then we can just duplicate the idle and I'm gonna use that as the unarmed kind of pose. So I'm gonna go into nun and then I can drag in from the asset browser on the right side here. I can get the great sword idle and just drag it in, plug that into the great sword pose and then the same thing with the spear idol plug that into the spear pose and then if you want to you can play around with the settings of the blend poses with the blend times etc and that way it's gonna smooth out the transition we can compile this and that's gonna change our idle animation but what about the actual movement because we covered this in the last time we're gonna go back into the locomotion and the only thing that we really need to change is the walk around the logic is gonna be exactly the same in fact we can go back into the idle we can get the blend poses and the variable and we can copy it with ctrl c go back into the walk around ctrl v to paste it and we're gonna just disconnect it plug the blend poses into the output and then we can just again the default idle just plug it into the default pose ctrl d to duplicate it and plug that into none now for the gray sword and spear we actually can just plug in our animations because what we actually need are blend spaces it's really easy so we can double click the walk run here and it's gonna open the blend space and then we can also just right click it we can browse to asset and then we can just duplicate it rename it to bsmm gray sword and then maybe run at the end. 
and then we can duplicate the data and then we can rename it to Spira. Now if you try to open multiple of these windows by just double clicking, it's just gonna replace the window that you already have open. So you can just right click it and then click on open a new window and that's gonna open it in a different window. And we have these three animations. Now for those of you who don't know what blend spaces are, they are basically just spaces blending between different animations. I mean, it's kind of in the name, right? So all we need to do here is just replace these animations. So I'm just gonna go with the working one first. And then I'm just gonna just search for spear and I'm gonna change it to spear ball. Then I'm gonna change the middle one to spear again. So we can just right click the point, swap it to wall, and then do the same thing for the last one. And this time we are gonna change it to run. Now we can save this and I'm just gonna quickly do the same thing for gray sword, but you are basically gonna apply this principle to any weapon type that you want. Okay, and now we are done with the blend spaces. One thing that I forgot to mention is that the middle one really should be like a faster walking animation rather than just a regular animation, but I don't have that animation so I'm just using regular walking animation. We can just close this and we can go back into our animation blueprint and then in the asset browser we should have new blend spaces. So I have the MM spear run, so I'm gonna plug that into the spear and then I have the great sword one, so I'm gonna plug that into great sword and we also need to plug in speed. So we already have this ground speed here so that we can just plug into these and we can delete one of these and just plug it all from the same variable. So we can compile, save this and that's it. So now that we are in play mode, I can run around like normally with the default animations. Then I press 2 on my keyboard and it's gonna swap me to that spear pose. And as you can see, it's a lot of different animation. And we can also, with the big thing that I did, we are gonna also slow down. So we can check the walking animation. Then I can swap it to greatsword. Again, I can slow down and keep swapping based on the weapons. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. It helps out a lot. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next one. Bye!